Hi, this is Chen Nguyen from Finale Inventory. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bulk in purchase orders or sales orders into uh, your account. So let's first open up Finale, and I'm going to show you where you would do that operation. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to import uh, sales orders, but the process to import purchase orders is exactly the same. So you click on View Sales, and you would see this button that says Import Sales. I'm going to click on this to kind of show you what fields are available. So if you scroll down, this is where you would typically paste the data. But if you scroll down, you see the supported uh, columns. So on the left are all the order summary fields, uh, such as the um, order ID, the customer, the order date, uh, the origin. And also, if you created any custom fields, uh, such as salesperson, uh, you can also bulk import that in also. So these are the order summary fields. And on the right are the line items, uh, basically what is on the sales order. Uh, typically what you would import are the product ID, the quantity, and the unit price. Okay? So let's go back. And first I'm going to show you my Excel file that I created in advance. In this, in this one I'm going to basically create three different sales orders. Import 1, Import 2, and Import 3. Okay? And in the first row of each file, or each order, are the su summary information. So from C through K, um, these are summary uh, fields. So we have the order date, we have the status, customer, PO, um, origin. Salesperson is actually a custom field that's uh, used in this account. Um, tax, shipping, and discount. And then in rows L through N are the line items. So, and for the first one, there's only one order. There's only one item for basically product one 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 for five units for ten dollars. Okay. In the second order, it's exactly the same except for you see all of this is blank. That's because you only need to put the order summary information in once. Uh, and we have the uh, for this order, we have basically two line items: one 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 for five units, one one two for two units. And similarly, on the third one, again, the order summary is only contained in the first row. And then essentially, the next three rows are basically the line items. Uh, basically, 111, 10 units, 112, 10 units, 111, 3 units. Okay? Okay, so now if I copy this, we're going now to import this into Finale. So if I go back to Finale, click on Import Sales, uh, just paste in this big box here. And we have order ID. We make sure that the fields are assigned. So we have order ID, order date, status, customer, customer PO, origin, salesperson. See how tax is unassigned? Uh, because in the system it's called uh, discounter fee uh, tax. Shipping is called discounter fee shipping. Uh, discount is called Discounter fee, coupon. And I scroll to the right, you know, these are the three units, and these are called a different, slightly different in the system for these bulk imports. This one's called order item product ID, order item quantity, and lastly, order item price, unit price. Okay? So now these are all ready to import. If you scroll to the top, it says we're going to import. Uh, three orders. Okay, so I click on start. And we should be done. Okay, here we go. So if I click on that, here's my three orders. If I go back to my Excel file, remember import three has three line items, okay, for, Sam, for customer Samuel Jones. So I click on this. Now you see the customers populated. And then you see the three line items, basically um, the red, blue, and white polo shirt, product ID 111, 112, 113, uh, for 10 years of each, and here's the different prices. So that's how you imp uh, perform a sales order, order import. Um, again, the purchase order size for do importing purchase orders is exactly the same. And also, uh, if you wanted to, you can use our open API. Uh, our open API is available for platinum customers and above. And you can basically use their Open API to uh, import orders automatically uh, using a very similar process. So 
that concludes this tutorial video. Uh, if you have any outstanding questions um, as you perform these imports, please let us know. We're more than happy to help. Um, and you can email us at service at finale, finaleinventory.com.